Ash Momo is testing out a new tech tool. Tell me a story about fairies and elephants. ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence prototype. Give it a task and it pulls information from across the internet to create a solution. Momo advises businesses on innovation, so he's seen a lot of technology. You can have what seems alarmingly close to a human conversation with it. So I was a little taken aback. ChatGPT can write poems, college-level essays, computer code. It's better at some things than others. Since it debuted last week, more than a million users have signed up. People whose job it is to create those kinds of short texts that are maybe fictional or entertaining, those jobs could be at least augmented by ChatGPT. The tech could impact customer service, advertising and media in just a few years, though likely as a tool to enhance productivity. Technology tends to create jobs in unexpected areas as, as it takes jobs away. ChatGPT has captured the public's imagination because it's so easy to use. Using but this expert says it does have limitations. These systems don't have a way to distinguish true things from false things. That's a problem. While the bot has been programmed to avoid inappropriate tasks, like asking for advice about illegal activities, some biased or offensive requests still sneak through. It's sparking debate about when and how it should be used. One of the challenges with this is the technology just moves so quick and quicker than often legislative bodies can um, you know, move. I asked ChatGBT, is the world ready for it? And use narration software to read out the answer. It is important for society to carefully consider these issues and develop a responsible approach to the use of AI technologies. Nisha Patel, CBC News, Toronto.